Hi. I am doing math today, and today you are going to need math book, page 319, 320, 321, and 322. 319 in the back, 321 in the back, okay, in your math book. Lesson 7, Fact Families. Pause me while you get that ready. Today is Monday, March 1st. Monday, March 1st, math. Okay, we're going to do fact families. We've kind of already talked about this. Fact families have two addition problems and two subtraction problems. And what they have in common is they all have the same numbers. Okay? So at the bottom it says there are seven fish swimming together in a group. Seven plus three equals ten. Draw a picture to show the story. Write the missing numbers to show the fact family. Okay, so we're going to draw seven fish. But I'm not going to draw fish. I'm just going to draw X's. So we had seven plus three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven plus three is ten. I did X's because it takes less time than drawing all the fish. Okay? So at the bottom, we would have seven plus three equals ten. So a fact family has two addition and two subtraction. Okay? So seven plus three, we're going to do the turnaround fact which is three plus seven equals 10. Then we're gonna have two subtraction problems. When we do subtraction, we start with the biggest number. What's the biggest number? What's the number that's worth the most? 10, right? 10 minus, I have to use a three or a seven. 10 minus three equals seven, 10 minus, these two numbers I turn around, seven equals three. So fact family has four problems. Two are addition, two are subtraction, but look what they all have in common. They all have a three, a seven, or a 10. Okay, so that's what we're working on today. Okay, flip it over. Make a fact family out of 11, 5, and 6. Okay? 5 plus 6 is 11. Then we have the other addition problem, the turnaround fact. 6 plus 5 is 11. And then we have two subtraction problems. When we subtract, we start with the biggest number. So 11 minus 5. 11 minus 5, we have 6 left. If we do 11 minus 6, we have 5 left. So, fact family, four number sentences, two addition, two subtraction, um, and what do they all have in common? An 11, a 5, and a 6. That's why they're called a family, because they all are all related because they have all the same numbers. Okay, let's go down to number one. Nine, two, and seven. Let's make a fact family using nine, two, and seven. Seven plus two, seven plus two is nine. Then we have the turnaround fact. Two plus seven is also nine. And then we have nine take away seven is two left over. And then we flip these numbers around. Nine minus two would be seven. Fact families, four number sentences, two addition, two subtraction. And they all have a nine, two, and a seven. Okay? I would like for you to do number two, number three, and, and this one down here. 
What fact family can you make with 4, 9, and 13? So at the bottom, you're going to have two addition problems and two subtraction problems. And you're going to use 4, 9, and 13. Okay, so you're going to do 2, 3, and the bottom by yourself. You're going to upload it and send it to your teacher when you're done. So you can pause me, you can do this page, and then bring me back, and we're going to do the next page in math. Okay, we have a 12, a 9, and a 3. 9 plus 3 is 12. The turnaround fact for the addition is 3 plus 9. That is also going to be 12. And then we need to do the 2 subtraction. 12 minus 9, if we take away the 12 and the 9, we have 3 left. 12 minus 3, we have 9 left. So that's a fact family. There are four number sentences, two addition, two subtraction. They all have a 12, 9, and a 3. Okay, you're going to do the rest of this page. And you're going to upload it and send it in to your teacher. Do the whole rest of this page. Then when you're done, look at the back. When you're done, we'll look at, actually, I think it's the next page. Yeah, it'll be the next page, 322. 322. Okay. Let's do this one together. Joe finds 12 starfish at the beach. He gives five to his grandmother how many starfish does he have left? Remember, we underline what we know. We circle what we need to know. 12 starfish minus 5 starfish equals what plus 5 is 12? What number do we need? What plus 5 is 12? Do it a couple of ways. 12 minus 6 we know is 6 because that's a double. 12 minus 6 is 6. So 12 minus 5 would be one more than 6, which would be 7. Or we can count back from 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Or some of you just know that 12 minus 5 is 7 because 7 plus 5 is 12. Okay, all right, let's go to number nine. There are 16 turtles in the ocean. Seven of those turtles get out. 16 minus seven. How many turtles are still in the ocean? 16 minus seven equals, so what plus seven is 16? 16 minus 8 would be 8, so 16 minus 7 would be 9. Or we can start with 7 and count till we get to 16. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that would be 9. Okay? Draw a fact triangle. Okay? Including all of the numbers. 16... 7 and 9. 9 turtles. 16 is at the top because it's the big number. 16, 7, and 9. When I am subtracted from 17, the difference, that means the answer to in a subtraction problem, the difference is 9. What number am I? When I am subtracted from 17, the difference is 9. What number am I? Okay, on this one, we can actually 
find the missing number by finding out what is 17 minus 9. 17 minus 9 is going to give us the missing number. Okay, so we're going to start with 9 and we're going to count till we get to 17 to find the difference. The difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So ready? 9 in our head, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. How many fingers do I have? 8. So 17 minus 9 is 8. So, so 17 minus 8 equals 9. What number am I? Explain. So, A is the number. How did we get it? A is the missing number, period. What number am I? Eight is the missing number. Explain. Eight is the missing number. We subtracted nine from 17 to get eight. Don't forget that get is spelled G-E-T, not G-I-T, okay? To get eight. We could also think what plus nine equals 17? Eight plus nine equals 17. Addition and subtraction go hand in hand. If you know one, you know them all, or you know both. Addition and subtraction go hand in hand. If you know one, you know the other. If you know addition, you know subtraction. If you know subtraction, you know addition. Those are partner facts, and then we can make them into uh, fact families. Okay. This page, my homework, is just practice. You don't have to do it, but you can do it. It's not that hard. We don't need you to upload this and send this in to your teacher. But if, I mean, I would do it if I were you and just do it because it's good for you to do more math and you learn more and you'll be ready for second grade. So I would do it, but you don't need to turn it into us. Okay? All right. So. Fact families have four problems, four number sentences, two are minus, two are add, and they all have the same three numbers. That's why they're called families or related facts, okay? All right, that's it for math for Monday, March 1st. We'll see you tomorrow for math. Bye.